All right, my friends. Right now I've got an SHR2 system and I've got four of the drives left. So I'm gonna see what happens if I finally take away one of the drives, leaving only three. So I'll turn it on and see if I can still access anything on this data or if my RAID has completely gone. So right there, you see there is a status light and I'm gonna log in and see what it's telling me. Looks like I can still log in as normal, so that's good. Okay, there you go. Volume one has crashed. One or more disks has crashed. We recommend rescuing your data or copying your files. Uh, hybrid RAID, two filter tol tolerance, unable to use this volume. The data in the volume may have crashed. Please try to back up the data before removing the volume. Hmm, how can I back up the data? My file system, let's check it out. There's no shared folders. It looks like everything's gone. All right, what I'm gonna do now is replug that hard drive in and see if it re restores the volume. All right, so I'm gonna put that hard drive back in to see if the volume gets restored after it's been listed as crashed. It currently has that drive as unused, not initialized. So what I'm gonna do now is restart the system and see if it recognizes the RAID after it's rebooted. So we do have the status light still, but I hear the hard drives grumbling, so I think it might have re-recognized the SHR2 volume. Let's see. Over here it's loaded, four disks are used, Volume, boom, shakalaka. We are back. We're back. So that means file station. It's degraded. We got some files. What's also interesting I've noticed is that now that I've put disk five back in, it says system partition failed, but it's still running normal. Interestingly enough though, my settings haven't been lost. So if you do notice system partition has failed over an overview, you'll get a link to repair. So we recommend replacing failed drives. Let's hit repair. Failed to access system partition. The failure could result from bad sectors or what we've done. Let's hit repair. When you remove the drive, please know that at least one system disk for the system to function normally. So because it's a rate setup, it's got the system on all of the disks. So I hit repair and it's going to restore the system partition on disk five. And that is that. That's all you need to do if you want to play around.